from mind hunter to mind blowing. A craftsman in Serbia makes one of the most popular instruments of Balkan music by hand. He dedicates about 200 hours to each violin he creates. Let's have a look. Balkan music is among the most celebrated musical heritages of the European continent. It goes back to 6th century Byzantine medieval music. Even though it's merged with modern sounds lately and sometimes even changed its name and style to progressive Balkan, Balkan soul funk and flamenco Balkan fusion, much of it remains faithful to its roots. It's hard to think of a Balkan tune without a violin and some people are still sticking to the old ways. Instrument making we can say is our family tradition. My father started it with my three brothers because they had a talent for music. During the 1940s to 50s we didn't have money for instruments, so they themselves made violins, cellos and guitars, but that was totally as amateurs. Jan Nemček uses his hands throughout the process. He picks the raw material and crafts its journey through the end. I like to choose the wood myself, in the forest while it's still alive, to choose which one is resonant or not. Then I chop it into pieces that suit me. I dry it naturally. Now, for example, we're using old stock. This piece of wood is from 1979. The older the wood, the more weight it loses. That's why old instruments, when you take them into your hands, some say, oh, that must be old. How do you know? Well, it's light. Of course, there are easier ways of producing an instrument in our modern lives, surrounded by machinery. But sometimes you just can't give up the old ways. Nowadays, not many violin makers use this kind of technique. There are not many people who make violins around the world. We have tourists coming from all over to see how they're created, making a violin for 200 hours. But this has its advantages. I would never accept working with machinery. Music has its ways of entering our lives, leaving its mark. A handmade violin may not necessarily sound sweeter than a regular one, but knowing that somebody worked on it and cared for it might just convince us otherwise. <laughs>